What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to use C routes from the Gun Bunch offense to absolutely give your opponent fits in coverage. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focused on helping people become the best Madden player that they could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now in this video, we're going to be going over the play corner, sh corner strike from the New England Patriots gun bunch offense. And if you've not really looked at the New England Patriots playbook this year, it is probably overall the number one playbook in Madden 21, at least the most effective in my opinion. It's got all of the effective concepts from all of the pretty much all the meta formations in this game. And so if you want to get my entire New England Patriots offensive guide that actually goes formation by formation, play by play, and breaks down the entire playbook. So you get plays from gun bunch, gun U trips, gun spread, gun trips tied in, all of those concepts. You can get that entire breakdown down in the description. I think it's just 10 to 15 bucks. So if you want to get access to that, that is available for you down in the description. Now the offense that we're going to be going over in this video comes to us from the corner strike out of the gun bunch. And we're going to show you how to use this. Now, on defense, I have kind of a standard Mabel coverage at this point in the season. We're seeing a lot of 30, 10, and 10, which is just a little bit deeper coverages to stop corner routes and crossing routes and things like that. And I can't wait to talk to you about this C route to the square receiver. So um, you notice here that he is to the short side of the field. This is going to be helpful because you're going to see that it's going to allow him to cut really sharply down underneath it. And all you're going to do is you're simply going to pass lead it down into the outside so down and away from the deep blue defender and you're going to be able to complete this against an outside third which is really cool because this is the meta coverage this is what everybody and their mom is running this season and you're going to be able to absolutely dot it up now you we'll talk about the right side here in just a second but if you watch this left side again you're going to see just passing down and away click on and you got it right on the sideline really smooth and really simple now, let me cover this really quickly against man-to-man. -man. So if they run man-to-man -man with shaded coverage um, inside and underneath, what you're going to notice is this C route. Um, it just honestly comes down to route running. But most of the time when he cuts to the outside, you're going to be pretty effective against man-to-man -man coverage, as you can see right there. The other thing that's really cool about this is let's say, for example, they want to run some cover four. Um, the outside quarter zone, especially on the bunch side, um, you're going to see here that this is going to continue to get consistently open, passly down and away. And as you can see, we've hit that route three for three or four for four, I think, in the last couple of examples. Now, as far as Tampa 2 goes, I do have 30 yard cloud flats on. Um, that means that this is going to get underneath them, as you can see right here. Now, this is more of a gunslinger specific throw. Um, if they're running, if they're running Tampa 2, uh, you have to anticipate that they're done again. You know, everybody and their mom this year runs the double flat defense, the meta, the Mabel coverage. Um, so I just want to show you what that would look like. The biggest thing with this is if I smart route this C route, you're going to see it's going to go a lot shallower. The problem is, as you can see, it's a lot easier to jump it. So it used to be the move to smart route those C routes against cover two. Now it's not quite as effective as it's been in the past. Um, but cover two out of a press alignment, again, I just want to show it to you one more time, pass lead it down and away. You really want to wait on it. But as you can see, it's not, it's not the best against cover two. It's really not. That's really what the, the other side of the field is used for. So I want to show this one more time against the cover two. And I want to show specifically, um, I want to show specifically the C route. So I could obviously hit the back here to the flat. Okay. I could hit the back. Um, that's, I, I think I accidentally, um, I reset my play. So against standard cover two, as you can see, uh, this is pretty good read. Against standard cover two, meaning they don't set their zone drops. What I've got out there right now is a 30 yard cloud flat. If you low ball, you see, it's just not quite a good look. It's just not, um, at least not this year. Now, one thing I did want to talk about though, really quickly, this is very specific uh, to this, this setup. But if they do this, this is an if this then formula. If they double flat, and they take their user and they run him off. Either they run him to the right or they run him to the seam or they do something with their user. And there's all this grass over here. You can low ball it right there. And it's a tight window, but it, a, a specific, it's, very spe, it's very specific to a cover two with a double flat situation. 
and they've got to get this this guy. If they're sitting here, don't throw it. But if they shift over to that side, um, if they if they shift over to that side, that's where when he cuts inside, you can just low ball it right on the cut. And as you can see, you're going to be very successful against that. Okay. So that's the left side. Let's talk a little bit about the right side out of this. Um, specifically, first and foremost, cover three Mabel. So uh, again, cover three Mabel. This is the coverage. Uh, this is a very popular coverage. And I just want to first hit on this tight end curl um, with this um, R1 little flat route, little quick flat. Um, and then we're going to motion circle to the outside. We're going to smart route circle so that you see he gets this nice sharp cut and what you're going to see is against cover three um, you're going to be able to throw this to the outside just like that now typically i like to get him in motion and another way that you can another simple way especially if you're trying to get their user to move like if you're trying to get their user to come over to the left side all you really have to do is simply streak your tight end just like this and now what you're going to get and you don't have to streak your tight end either you can streak r1 um, so it could look like this right here. But when you motion this guy out and snap at the numbers, now they're going to really fly up at that deep vertical, and you can easily hit that little quick out um, against the coverage. Uh, as far as, uh, as, far as uh, cover four goes, let me just show you that. So if, I run, if, I, if the defense runs cover four on this right side, uh, things sh everything should be pretty much the same. The circle receiver to the outside, easy read, easy money against the coverage. Um, the next thing that you want to look out for is like man to man. Uh, now this is not a great look on man coverage. I will say that. Um, but occasionally you can get this circle receiver. Um, you'll see he'll kind of get up, but you know wasn't able to get him there. The other thing is this RB late in the read. You can hit that if you get a beat press animation. If you don't get a beat press animation, don't throw it. But that's something that you could get. And, and, and again, it's not common though. But let's talk about Tampa 2 on this side. So if they run Tampa 2 on the right, um, what you're going to see is this circle receiver is going to get open to the outside. See that 30 yard cloud flat can't defend. The C route on the left and the corner on the right, one of them is going to get open. So that's a nice little thing that we've got going for us over here on that side that we can really take advantage of. Now, another little trick that you can do, if you don't want to use a flat route, okay? If you don't want to use a flat route, um, then what you can do is you can use these curls. Um, this curl is interesting because you don't necessarily need a flat route. You really don't this year. Um, you can roll without it. So if I want to throw that corner, I can throw that corner no matter what. So what that now allows me to do on the offensive side of the ball is it allows me to really force them to have to do certain adjustments to stop me. For example, um, they might have to do something like this, and then let's just assume they go to the C route. Okay, let's just say for sake of argument, they go to the C route, and I do this. Now I've got this little spot route to the R1 that the yellow zone doesn't cover. They actually have to spy somebody to cover that little hook, little hook route. So that's another little wrinkle that you can have um, in, this, in this play. Another quick thing about this, specifically as it pertains to Tampa 2 this year, is if you leave this corner route to circles as is, um, you're going to notice that this is a pretty deep corner, and the 30-yard cloud flat does not cover it to the sideline. As you can see right there, it doesn't, it, it, it does, it's not able to get there. Um, another example of that would be if they start to go to something like this. This is a very popular tip. Um, a lot of people have shifted to base align defense against gun bunch. This in particular is going to do a pretty decent job. Um, you're going to see you're just going to wait for him to get on the sideline. But as you can see, the base align cloud flat does a little bit better of a job. So that's just something to you know kind of keep in mind as you're as you're running through your your concepts. One last little thing that I want to hit on um, is a, is just one other little adjustment that you can do. So you can take this. R1 receiver um, if you want to and you can put him on a curl route and then I can basically uh, run it just like this and this is not a bad look I mean cover three is not going to get out there as you can see because we've got a vertical stemming curl 
that's going to hold that deep third. It's going to allow us to still throw the corner route. Why this is important is because it forces the defense to have to have a yellow zone on that side of the field. If they don't have a yellow zone over there, you know, this is going to be easy, easy pickings. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you'll see here that we're going to run just traditional Mabel coverage, and this R1 is wide open. There's nobody around him. So this is going to really do a good job of just working the ball up the field against pretty much anything the defense is going to throw at you, which is why the New England Patriots offense is so effective in this year's game. If you want to learn my entire New England Patriots offense, I'm going to leave a link to the offensive guide in the description of this video. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My cell phone number is 208-218-6900.